REC, Qcells, Silfab. Which is the best brand of solar panel as we go into 2024? I'm going to be answering that question and teaching you a whole lot more in today's video. Hi everyone, Joe Ordia here for Solar Surge, and for the past 11 years I've been helping families achieve energy independence using clean renewable energy. Now, if you're new to the Solar Surge channel, on Solar Surge we provide expert reviews of solar panels, batteries, inverters, pretty much any component or technology that goes into a home renewable energy system. Now, in today's video, I'm gonna be introducing you to the top five solar panels as we're going into 2024. And you're gonna to wanna to watch this video to the end because the winner of this year's top solar panel lineup is a name that we're familiar with, but offering performance now that's far beyond its closest competitor. And with that, let's get into the lineup. All right, coming in at number five is the Silfab Elite 410 watt all black panel. Um, the the Silfab 410 is gonna be your workhorse type of solar panel. It provides all current state-of-the-art technology and at a competitive price point. The first thing that you're probably gonna notice about the Silfab Elite 410 is that nearly all of the solar panel surface is functional solar cell. So it uses what's called a back contact technology, which means that the electrical conductors that connect the individual cells together uh, are, are built on the back side of the solar cell. So you're not gonna see those bus bars, you're not gonna see those little silver lines going across the front of the solar panel, and that makes for an aesthetically much nicer looking solar panel. Uh, also makes for a more efficient solar panel as well. Now, the Silfab panel comes with a 30-year performance warranty, uh, and this is an exclusively made in USA product. In terms of performance, the Silfab Elite 410 offers module efficiency up to 21.4%. So I think overall, you're gonna find the Silfab panel is an excellent choice for most residential applications. As long as you have adequate roof surface, you'll be able to use this solar panel to get the system size that you need and be able to do so at a competitive price point with a made in USA product. All right, coming in at number four is the Maxion 3 420 watt solar panel. Now, many of you might be surprised that Maxion is not higher on the list, but with some of the new higher wattage, higher efficiency solar panels coming out from other brands, Maxion finds its place at number four on this year's lineup. Now, one major advantage of the Maxion panel is the lower degradation rate at only a quarter of a percent per year. And so again, when we talk about degradation rate, we're talking about how much of its efficiency or how much of its performance does the solar panel lose each year as the solar panel ages. Now, a standard solar panel is gonna lose about a half a percent of its performance per year, where a premium panel or, or, a, or a panel that has a premium degradation rate is only gonna lose about a quarter of a percent per year. So basically half the, half the rate of degradation. And Maxion performs very well in this area. Uh, in terms of module efficiency, the Maxion 3 420 is gonna give you module efficiency of up to 22.2%. Uh, and again, that would have been exceptional a year ago, but with some newer high efficiency panels coming on the market recently, Maxion is right in the middle of the competitive range now. Now, one area where the Maxion 420 really stands out is the warranty. And uh, to give you a little bit of backstory on this, M Maxion was exclusively the solar panel offered by SunPower. And so it was previously branded the SunPower Maxion. Uh, and that's really what SunPower sold on was the strength of the warranty. Not only did the, the solar panel itself degrade at a slower rate, so you get more total energy over the lifetime of the system, but the, the, the strength of the, of the warranty guarantees were just better than anything else out there. And that is still the case with Maxion. They offer a 40-year warranty that covers parts, performance, and service, uh, meaning that if the solar panel underperforms for whatever reason, uh, Maxion will, at its own expense, have the solar panel replaced uh, in the event that your local installation contractor is not able to provide the service to you directly. Now, the Achilles heel, in my opinion, on the Maxion 3 is the higher price point. Now, right now, as of this recording, we're in mid-November 2023, and right now, as of this recording, we're seeing prices of 30 cents to 50 cents per watt higher for the Maxion 420 when compared to what I would call more standard or more middle of the road uh, solar panel. 
And so again, in the past, you could sort of justify that, that price premium because the performance, the efficiency was that much higher. But now, as you're going to see with our top three panels, the Maxion panel falls right in the middle of the efficiency range. Uh, by the way, folks, if you're in the process of looking at solar power options for your home, uh, if you need to get a price quote for one of these options or really any of the, the top solar panel brands, uh, as always, remember, you can reach out to us on the link below there, set up a quick Zoom call with one of our team members, and we'd be happy to get some pricing and some information to you. All right, let's move on to number three. All right, coming in at number three is the Qcells Qtron G2 430 watt solar panel. Now, the Qcell solar panel, by the way, the Qcells brand is the number one most popular brand if we're talking about residential solar panels being installed in the United States. And the latest generation is the new Qtron G2, which uses the latest generation Quantum Neo N-type solar cells. Now with these new N-type cells, Q-Cells is able to achieve module efficiency of 22.4%. Now again, a year ago that would have been considered a super premium, super high efficiency module. Now Q-Cells is introducing this in what I would consider a, a standard, or at least in terms of a price point, a standard competitively priced residential solar module. Now this has been building on some of the previous generation Q-Cell panels, where they introduced gapless technology meaning that the way that the solar panel is laid out, there, there's, there are no gaps in between the solar cells, so virtually all of the solar module surface is functional solar cells, and that's what part of what contributes to being able to offer that higher module efficiency. Just a quick word from our sponsor, Savant Power, and the Savant Energy Management System. If you're considering an investment in a solar plus storage system, then you're going to want to have maximum visibility and control of how much energy you're harvesting, how much energy you're storing, and how that energy is being distributed within the home. The new Savant power system allows you to dynamically control which circuits are on and which circuits are off depending on battery state of charge, allowing you to extend your battery running time during a blackout. The system also includes an integrated electric vehicle charger, allowing you to charge directly from solar or from the grid or a combination of both. So if you'd like to learn more information, you can visit the Savant Power website or click the link in the description below so that you can get in touch with an installer right away. Uh, by the way, for those of you who are not familiar with the term module efficiency, module efficiency is very simply, it's what percentage of, of light that is applied to the surface of the module, what percentage of that light actually is successfully captured and converted into usable electricity versus what if it gets reflected away or what if it might just pass right through or maybe some of it gets lost as heat, but it's what's the percentage of, of light that hits that panel that actually gets successfully converted to electricity. And so right now, anything over 22% is considered a high efficiency solar module. Now, it's important to look at this number because one of the things that the solar panel manufacturers have been doing is they've been making their solar panels a little bit wider, a little bit taller. Basically, they've been, they've been increasing the surface area of the panel so that they can advertise a higher, a higher headline wattage, like this panel now is a 430 watts in terms of its headline wattage but not all the manufacturers are getting those higher wattages because of higher efficiency. Some of them are just getting it because of larger size. So that, that module efficiency kind of gives you a, a straight apples to apples. How much, what percent of light hits the solar module surface gets converted. So of course, the higher the module efficiency, the more energy you're gonna get out of the same surface area. So anyway, Q-Cells with its, what I would consider sort of mainstream uh, high production module, with module efficiency of 22.4% is an excellent offering. And that's why you saw uh, Maxion further down the list in this year's lineup. Now, the Qcells panel is manufactured here in the USA at Qcells facility outside of Dalton, Georgia. And I think you're gonna see this panel probably remain the most popular uh, panel in terms of residential installations in the US. Uh, it's the same brand solar panel that I installed on my home when I did my system back in 2018 and we expect it to remain available at a very, very competitive price point. All right, coming in at number two is the Aptos DNA120 440 watt solar panel. Now, where Aptos really stands out is in the top line power rating. 
As I mentioned earlier, not all of the manufacturers are getting to the higher power rating by more efficiency. In the case of Aptos, it's a slightly physically larger panel. However, it does come with some additional benefits besides just the higher power. Um, and one of it is based on the way that the panel is constructed, it achieves a higher wind rating. Um, by using a thicker framing and a stronger framing, this panel is able to achieve up to 5,400 Pascal uh, wind rating, or in terms of miles per hour, over 210 miles per hour wind rating, which is very important depending on what market or what, what geography you live in. So we tend to use this panel a lot in coastal Florida, where we have to build, or, or basically homes have to be built to a higher wind standard because of the hurricane threat. And so the Aptos panel is generally a great fit for that application. Um, but the other nice thing about it is it's, it's an aesthetically very nice looking panel, and it's pretty much always available at a very competitive price point. So if you're just looking at overall price per watt for your solar system, if you're looking for a solar panel that can offer you excellent aesthetics, a 30 year warranty, uh, physical toughness and durability, but be able to do all that at a competitive price point, it's hard to go wrong with the Aptos DNA 440 watt solar panel. So in terms of module efficiency, the Aptos 440 achieves module efficiency of 20.3%. So again, it's not quite as efficient as some of the other brands that we mentioned, but because of the larger surface area, still able to achieve one of the highest power ratings. All right, and finally, coming in at number one is the REC Alpha Pure RX 470 watt solar panel. Uh, as you can see here on the data sheet, the 470 watt Alpha Pure RX achieves module efficiency of 22.6%. So again, exceeding that of the Maxion 3, which used to be tops in that category. Um, and part of that is the new cell design. As of this recording, this is the highest power rated module for what we would consider the residential class solar modules at 470 watts per panel. Uh, and of course, it still provides all the additional benefits that you would expect from REC. One of those, of course, is the 25-year ProTrust warranty, meaning that REC is not only guaranteeing the mechanical integrity of the product, they're guaranteeing the electrical power output of the product, but they're also guaranteeing the labor or the service, meaning that if your solar panel underperforms for whatever reason, uh, REC will, at their own expense, pay to have somebody come out there and replace it for you in the unlikely event that your original installation contractor is not able to make timely repairs. Now, of course, the other thing that you would expect with REC is the low temperature coefficient. So for those of you not familiar with temperature coefficient, basically, whenever the solar panel has to operate in extreme temperatures, typically extreme high temperatures on the rooftop, there, there's a certain percentage of power lost for each degree Celsius above the ideal temperature. Now, the ideal temperature is 25 degrees Celsius, or about 77 degrees Fahrenheit. But every degree you go above that, you're losing a, a small percentage of the performance. So, so what you want is you want a, a solar panel that has a low temperature coefficient means that it's going to lose less when it's operating in extreme heat. So the lower the temperature coefficient, the better that panel is going to perform. And REC with the new Pure RX is introducing industry leading temperature coefficient of only minus 0.24% per degrees Celsius. So if you're watching this video, if you're considering installing solar uh, in an environment where you have extreme high temperatures on the roof, I'm talking about Phoenix, Las Vegas, uh, even some parts of Southern California, some parts of Texas, you may wanna consider the Alpha Pure RX because having that lower temperature coefficient means that you're gonna have more total energy harvested even during those extreme high heat, extreme sunny summer days where you could have temperatures 140, 150 degrees plus on your rooftop. And of course, the REC panel, and one of the reasons why it's top in this year's lineup, um, it's able to offer all these performance benefits with really a very modest price premium over what I would consider a standard priced solar panel. So whereas with, with a Maxion panel, you may pay 30 to 50 cents per watt over the standard, with the REC Alpha Pure panel, you're typically paying only about 20 or 25 cents per watt above a sort of standard price or standard performance panel. And so for all those reasons, we rank the REC Alpha Pure RX 
number one solar panel going into 2024. Well, folks, I hope you got some great value from today's video. Um, as always, if you're in the process of looking at solar panel options for your home, uh, if you need to get a quote for the REC panel or, or any of the other you know, top brands of solar panels, as always, you can reach out to us on the link below there, set up a quick call with one of our experts, and we'd be happy to get some pricing and some information for you. Uh, of course, if you're getting good value from the videos you see on Solar Surge, make sure you hit the thumbs up button. Uh, and also go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. That way, as we have new videos like this coming up, it'll come up on your feed so you can stay up to date with everything that's going on in the industry. Well, folks, I thank you for spending some time with Solar Surge today. As always, I'm Joe Ordia here, encouraging you to get prepared and be empowered. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next video. All right. I hope you're getting some great value from today's video content. Now, if you would like to have your product or your business or technology featured on the Solar Surge channel, feel free to reach out to us at the link below so you can set up a call with our media team to talk about your marketing goals and how Solar Surge can help you get there. Solar Surge is the leading online community in the US residential solar and energy storage space. And so if you'd like to get your product, business, or technology in front of our audience, we can help you do that. Uh, again, feel free to reach out to our media team at the link below or email media at solarsurge.net.